In this problem, we have a rotating merry-go-round. So let's represent that as a little circle here. And I'll say it's rotating in this direction and has a radius from the center that is given to us. And the merry-go-round completes one rotation every 6.4 seconds that is also given to us. Now on one edge of the merry-go-round, a cat sits there. And we want to find the coefficient of static friction that will keep it in place. So first off, there are two forces acting on it here. There's the centripetal force on the cat that points to the center, and it is also experiencing a frictional force in the opposite direction of its rotation. We want to find the coefficient that will keep the frictional force equal to or overcoming the centripetal force. So at the bare minimum, they need to be equal to each other, both forces. A centripetal force is equal to m, the mass of the cat, times the speed that it experiences divided by the radius, and the speed is squared. And the frictional force at its maximum value is equal to the coefficient of static friction times the normal force, which at its maximum value is just the weight of the cat, mg. The mass appears in both sides of the equation, so we can divide them out, and we can solve for the coefficient of static friction by dividing both sides of the equation by g. So v squared over g times r. Now the only thing in this equation left for debate is v. We're not given the speed of the edge of the merry-go-round directly. We can figure it out from the rotation time. We'll just use the distance over time formula for speed because in this case, the distance that it travels in one rotation is just equal to the circumference of a circle, which is given by 2 pi r. And then the time it takes to rotate around that is given to us. So let's plug this in for v in the coefficient formula that we just found. So that's what I've done here. Now we can make some simplifications. So 2 squared is 4 times pi squared times r squared, but it's going to cancel out with the r in the denominator, so it's just r, divided by g times the square of the period. So this is the final formula that we'll use. We'll just plug in our givens now. So 6.4 seconds for big T, and 5.5 meters for r. And when we do that, we find a coefficient of static friction of 0 0.54. And that is our answer to the problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to explain or clarify anything. And if you have a request for a future video, I have a Discord server linked in the description where you can join and send in any problems that you have that you, or concepts or suggestions for future videos that you'd like me to try my hand at. But that's all for today, and I hope you all have a nice day. Bye bye